wrinkliest shirt ever. Didn't know I was doing a video today. That's okay. Hey guys, it's Carl. Welcome back to another budget episode. I know that these ones are super popular. We're hitting that sweet spot right now of best tech around that $100 zone. And before we start, we did have a giveaway winner from our previous episode, just like these ones. I'll flash it on screen. I've sent you a little DM over on Insta. And just like that episode, you can win one of the items, just like this Xbox controller that you can see off to the side. Just simply leave a comment. I know there is so much YouTube spam. I'm still trying to sort that out. So follow me over on one of the social media sites, mainly IG. That's the main one that uh, I'll send you a DM and we can swap shipping info. A lot of the tech though that we'll begin with, they have to do with other products that are launching. So you'll see that the first ones, these are the Nothing Earbuds, and I think they're specifically called the Nothing Ear Ones. We all know that the latest hype was around the new Nothing phone that was launching. And if you wanna look at tech that's around that $100 mark, definitely check out the earbuds. I think these are really cool. If you haven't seen them yet, just like a lot of Nothing's branding, they actually look like see-through tech. So they have this little clear coat around the outside and you can actually see a lot of the internals on the inside. That kind of makes sense. And these actually don't sound that bad. I would compare them to AirPod Pro level quality and they do cost way less than that. You can grab these in a couple different colorways. Obviously I've got the white. They also do come in the black. And if you are someone that likes the Nothing brand, no better way to get a new phone by having a matching pair of earbuds. So these are first on the list. I do also want to, if I can slot these back into the case, the second pair of earbuds uh, on today's channel, once again, kind of related to a phone that's dropping. So OnePlus is launching one of their new devices in August. I'll actually be in New York in that time. It'll be nice to actually be back in person. So these are the OnePlus Z2, or I guess if you're in the States, Z2. Z2, Z2, Canadian a Z or Z? <laughs> One of the two, wherever you happen to live, um, it's either a Z or Z. So once again, these are actually brand new. I haven't taken them out of the box yet, but these are around that $100 mark and they do have active noise canceling. I like them because they do have the silicone tips. So they do feel better in your ears. They are a little bit bulky for my liking. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't rock these, but around that $100 mark. And if you are a fan of OnePlus, I know that the fan base has kind of died down in the past uh, couple of years. Those that are still trying to rock uh, the latest OnePlus device, I know that they were bought out by Oppo or are underneath the Oppo umbrella and you still wanna help support them, you can pick these up for around, uh, yeah. $100. Getting to my favorite item on the list and one that uh, if you do win the giveaway, I will not send this out to you. I'll probably just send you a download code. This is the new Xbox Design Lab controller. So previously you could design your own custom Xbox controllers. Their new site just launched with a bunch of new customization options. So you can see I had to get mine decked out in orange. So we've got the orange control sticks. We of course have the orange triggers on the back. And new to this year is this pretty dope camo, which comes in a couple different color options. And of course you can get your gamer tag. I just did my shameless plug in case you aren't following me on any of the socials. Good old at Carl Conrad. And on the back, we do have the rubberized grips. So I know that there's a ton of different color options and also finish options. You can get it in gloss, you can get it in metallic. And I think if you're a pretty big gamer, customizing your controller is just a dope little way to make your stuff stand out. And if you wanna use it as any extra B-roll or just sitting off to the side like I usually place all of my controllers. That's pretty dope looking for around that $100 mark. Next up, we are taking a look at SSDs. So I know that the new MacBook Airs are coming. I actually have mine being delivered today. I think embargo drops next Friday. So um, if you already haven't subbed, make sure you do that. I know that typically for laptops, I always recommend getting the lowest storage option just because external storage is so much cheaper. This is no different. So this is 500 extra gigs for a little portable SSD and you can use this to edit all of your video, all of your photo stuff. It has fast enough read and write speed. So this is around a thousand read, 900 megabits to write. So it should be nice and quick. I love these little USB-C hard drives. I typically just carry a bunch with me when I travel, which I've been doing honestly quite a bit more of. And I just shoot so much footage. I think one of these uh, shoots, for example, is around 120 gigs. So I will just dump that all into this hard drive. Once we get through the edit, I will usually delete all the extra B-roll and just keep the final file for a bit of storage management on this. So they're just nice to have around $100. You're not breaking the bank. And like I said, if you get it for a laptop or a new computer that you get, 
buy external storage, do not pay the Apple tax for an extra, what, 256 gigs. They typically charge like two, $300. Um, just buy one of these instead. Continuing on the Lexar plug game. So these are their little micro SD cards. You'll kind of see why in a second when we bring out my Nintendo Switch. I have been playing a few more games and just storing those I guess games on little micro SD cards is always clutch. I'm also gonna be using these cards when I film my car pickup video. So I'm gonna have a GoPro mounted. Um, I'll leave the secret. I think I've been teasing it on Insta. It isn't uh, too big of a reveal, but wait until that video drops. Um, I think it'll be really special. I'm really looking forward to that. So just having, once again, little micro SD cards kicking around for the GoPro for my Nintendo Switch, which is what I will bring up next. And for my latest game that I play, typically most games are sadly over, you know, $69, $79, especially Canadian. The latest one that I have is actually a soccer game. This is Mario Strikers Battle League. And I know for all of you FIFA diehard fans, this um, has no relation to that game. This is more of a brawl bash them up game with a bit of soccer tied in. It's just a fun little way to spend extra, you know, 15, 20 minutes when I've got some downtime. Um, it requires no skill like FIFA does, even though I do suck at FIFA to be honest, but uh, it's just a fun little game to play. I'm currently just uh, making my way through, I'll just put it in quotes, the campaign, or I guess the different levels that you play and um, trying to relive some of the glory days when I actually used to be half decent. Next off on the list, I typically don't review mice or little accessories that come in like this, but just because this came my way, I saw it and it caught my eye just because it's an ocean plastic mouse. So Microsoft sent this out and I'm all about sustainability, trying to save the earth. This is actually made from 20% recycled ocean plastics, or at least the shell of the mouse is, which I think is pretty cool. The box itself, That's such a fucking letdown. That's another blooper reel. And what's kind of cool about this unboxing, even though I just mangled this uh, box completely, most tech products these days actually come with biodegradable or disposable cardboard boxes, which I am a fan of. And you kind of take that out and taking a look at the mouse. And this looks kind of cool. This actually reminds me of those OG Game Boys that you could kind of see through, kind of like the nothing earbuds actually. So 20% of this is made out of recycled ocean plastics, which I think is dope. And kind of looking around the rest of the mouse, you can see it has these little blue or teal accents, and that's actually a little ocean pick. Really reminds me of the Adidas Parlay Ultra Boost, which were also made out of ocean plastic. So it's cool to see brands doing that. And I think this is my actually next little travel mouse. I'll kind of throw this into my travel pack. You always need a mouse when you edit. Do not be the trackpad star on your laptop. And that's actually a great little segue into this next little kit. So this is a little travel pack that I always bring with me because uh, I'm trying to think in the last little bit we did Miami, Montreal, Turkey, I'm heading to New York next week and Vietnam. So I think 50,000, 60,000 plus kilometers in the span of what, a month? Having these little travel packs is always pretty essential. So if we actually grab that little mouse that I kind of brought down. These are little accessories that you never want floating around in your backpack. Just have them in a organized place. So this is a perfect little example. Just placing that and all extra cables, all extra accessories inside, having them in one compact place. So this one is also one of my favorites. This is from a company called Air SF. I'm also a big fan just because it's lined with orange on the inside, that's mostly it. Pretty much minimal to no branding, made of ballistic nylon. These are tanks, they survive. You can never really wreck them and they keep all of your accessories in a handy little place. The next item on the list, this will make a lot of sense also when I pick up my car because I will have this mounted not only to the inside but to get some pretty cool exterior shots. So I did pick up a new suction cup mount. These are really handy if you record a lot of weird angle stuff or requires your camera to be in a weird place. You can see that I've just actually stuck it to my desk and no matter how hard I reef on this, I could, I think I could pick up my desk with this, I can. This is not moving anywhere. So once this is stuck to the car, just make sure that the seal is set. 
Make sure that your camera's in one place. Your camera is not going anywhere. Really useful if you are sticking a $3,000 camera like we're recording on right now outside of a car. The last thing that you want is for your camera to fall. So just have a suction cup mount. Once again, I'll be revealing more details when I pick up my car this weekend. Depending when this video goes live, I might actually have my new car ready. This accessory is pretty clutch. The very last item that we are gonna end off with, I know that this is over $100. So this is the TCL 30 XE 5G. This actually costs double that, $200. But in reality, where can you find a smartphone for $100? Even for $200, that's pretty hard to find. So this is 200 USD, like I said, and for that, you get some pretty decent specs. For some of those specs, you get a 6.52 inch display. It is HD plus, so it isn't 4K, it isn't uh, quad HD plus. It is 90 Hertz though, so already better than say the iPhone 12, the iPhone SE. It has a better refresh rate. I will admit the coloring because it's an LCD panel isn't as vibrant, but like I said, for $200, when are you gonna get a display? When are you gonna get a piece of tech for that amount? When you look at all the tech that we just uh, kind of looked at, that was around $100, if you double that, you get a fully functional smartphone. It works on 5G. It's got four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage. It does have a triple camera setup, a 13 megapixel main. Unfortunately, no ultra wide though. You do have the standard zoom range from one to four and strangely enough, a portrait and a pano camera. Not my uh, personal choice, but once again, for uh, $200, you obviously can't complain uh, what you're getting. Maybe a great burner phone or even for students or someone looking for a real budget device. I don't think you can beat this. 4,500 milliamp hour battery, so should last you the entire day, even if you are tethered to 5G. TCL, you are making some pretty decent budget phones. And um, in that price range, I honestly can't think of anything else that uh, kind of comes close to this. So big props to you guys. But anyways, that is my best tech, $100 other than this phone. I know that this is 200 bucks, but like I said, where can you find something of that decent value? I will be giving one of these things away. I think everyone will want the phone. So just be sure to comment, make sure you're subbed to the channel, make sure you're following me on some sort of social media platform. All of those links are down below and I will announce the winner in one of my next best tech episodes, uh, whenever that may be. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.